hello everyone so today I am going to work on a method to change the perception range in the night time and day time for those enemies so this is night time in the night time I can go as close as this to start enemies to start detecting them so but if it is daytime let's say 10 a.m. now I should not see even in this range enemies can see me so that's what I'm gonna work on today change in the perception radius based on the night time and day time hello everyone so as the next step of this uh, shooter project what I want to do is uh, I'm gonna implement a system when I go closer and get detected by that searchlight the searchlight should keep following and that should alert other enemies but at the moment I can't implement it because the sight radius of these enemies is too high so whenever I go somewhere over here I start getting detected even without having the searchlight uh, turned or towards to my character so what I want to do is only for the night time I want to reduce the perception range of sight perception uh, we already imp implemented a system which in the daytime I prevent character going to this alerted sight perception mode which is compared to the normal sight perception it has a sight radius of 3000 but in the alerted mode it is 5000 so but uh, but in the night time even if the character is alerted it will remain in this mode which is 3000 so that's the only difference I have at the moment as for the sight perception in day and night so I want to introduce another sight perception AI perception component which will be activated only for night time so let me duplicate this AI perception site by selecting that and control D then I'll call it AI perception site night then here I'll change this to something like 1500 and this is disabled in the beginning and here in this toggle alert mode I'll get rid of this daytime end part and directly connect this here and then I think it would be better if I collapse this mode so that we can freely expand the graph right now what I want to do is first get some space and here add the branch in the branch I will check if it is daytime so this is uh, alerted mode if it is daytime we don't have to make any change but if it is not that means it is night time oh hold on we don't really need a branch here here i'll do a select and use daytime 
if it is true we should activate the alerted mode if it is false I'll activate that means the night time I'll activate this normal AI perception site so now I'll change this name say this one AI perception night this is a perception site day this is a perception site alerted so when I am alerted I will be using AI perception day configuration in the night time so we will see some increase in the perception radius but not exactly as the alerted radius that we would observe in the daytime and here uh, we will have to disable this one no here also we are gonna need this select note and if it is daytime I have to disable this which is normal day perception mode if it is night time I will have to disable this one AI yeah, perception night right okay now that is for alerted mode and we will have to do the similar thing for the non-alerted mode as well so this is non-alerted mode here um, also select uh, using date time so the false path means we are not alerted if we are not alerted and if it is daytime we should uh, this one is deactivating we should deactivate this alerted mode because it is non-alerted mode and it is daytime if else i should disable this one because that's the one we will be using in the night time when we are alerted and we are going to disable it here right now we need to do the same thing here what we disable if it is daytime obviously we should enable day site perception settings and otherwise if it is night time we should enable night perception okay <laughs> now let's see now i think if it works correctly i should be able to walk closer to the over here without getting a start to detect see now I can walk here and I'm not getting detected if I move further close oh wait what's happening now I'm not getting detected at all something is wrong uh, where else are we using this uh, perception site day component yeah oh, here also okay does this have anything to do with that all oh, right I have some events yeah on target perception update I have to implement that for T 
the other perception system as well okay that's the issue so select the night side night and second on target perception updated Move it oh, not that. Move it here along with other perception components events and do the same. Now it should work. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not getting detected. If I go further close, yeah, now I'm getting detected. So I had to be this close at least. Oh, wow, one more thing. Here also, I need to use night. Get perceived actors. So this is required when the player actually detect one enemy and react to that enemy. Another append. is working so now in the next episode I can work on a method to when the player go here and when the light hit the player we can implement some mechanism to trigger the enemies to start seeing the player that's the next step but for now I'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of patreon club see you in another episode goodbye